Earlier this week, Pope Francis visited the Vatican's communications department. The visit was to mark 90 years of Vatican Radio and 160 years of the Vatican's newspaper, L'Osservatore Romano. The Pope spoke frankly to Vatican employees, warning not to fall into, quote, lethal functionality, but to ensure its mission continues to reach the people. Joining us now from Rome is Paolo Ruffini, Prefect of the Dicastery for Communications. Paolo, welcome. Thank you so much for your time today. What did you think of the Pope's words to you all when he visited earlier this week? Uh, first of all, let's, may, let's me say thank you to you. And uh, concerning the, the po Pope's words, I would say that the Pope was saying us as to every um, Christian, but especially to um, a communicator, a Catholic communicator, not to stop anyway, just to go e every time uh, plus one, plus two, plus three. We have all to f find people wherever they are and uh, n not to be satisfied of people that are already connected with us, but also uh, seek the uh, people wherever they are, seek uh, the lost sheep, let's say, and, uh, and he told us, uh, 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 I, I, I have this to, t to tell you, never, never stop. Uh, 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 be uh, aware that we have to uh, talk with the everyone, wherever they are, and, and, uh, and, and, and so this is, our, this is our mission. So he's saying, who are the listeners of the radio? Uh, are uh, so many, maybe <laughs> we have to, to look of the other that at this time are not, are not uh, listening. And, and so who are the readers of the Salvador Romano? Please uh, find a way that there may be more and uh, find a way to serve also all the media, Catholic media all around the world, like you are and, and like uh, others are, to uh, link, link uh, our being one, link our being brothers. And can you also tell us more about the work of the Vatican's communication department? The Dicastery was born five, five years ago, and it, uh, it comes from bringing together uh, several institutions, different one from the other, and because there is the Holy See Press Office and there are the Vatican Media and there is a typography, a, a publishing house. And uh, what, what are we doing? We are trying to serve uh, the Christianity and the Catholic uh, people all around all around the world. And as I told before, also people that are not Catholic, uh, but maybe are, they are interested in, in the magisterium and what uh, the church says. And serving all the media all around the world that are uh, connecting uh, believers. And uh, we do it uh, directly with our media, but they, they don't have not uh, aim to be the only one, uh, absolutely not. It's, it's the opposite, are, are, are meant to serve all the media all around the world and uh, through the institutional communication that is by the Holy See Press Office and by the book we, we published. We are uh, from several countries. We, we speak uh, more or less 40 languages and, uh, and uh, the, the, from very less spoken to the most spoken, like, like English is. And, um, and we, we are here to serve the Pope and to be a, a means of union, a means of linking uh, uh, people in, in, in one, as I told. This is what we are trying to do, and we are aware of our limits. And we, we know that we are always on the way of, as disciples, as, and, uh, as you and as uh, any Christian, and any, any Catholic may, m must be, to, uh, to be aware that we are on the way and to improve ourselves in testimony. Well, Paolo, thank you so much for your time today and speaking with us and for what you do. Paolo Ruffini, Prefect of the Dicastery for Communications, thank you again. Thank you to you. Thank you.